that I already had this yellow open. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. But I do have a 21 inch yellow in stock if you guys are looking for one. All right, so our theme tonight is blue, yellow, and uh, sunflowers. Y'all, I found a whole case of scissors in the warehouse, so of course I got me one. You can never have too many blue handle scissors. Y'all, I have one, two, three. I have four pair at least. Just five pair. At least just on my table. All right. Let's get to work. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our 21 inch mesh. Y'all, I gotta, we gotta clear all this stuff off the table. It's so full. I can't even work anymore. How long does it take for orders to ship? Uh, honestly, it all depends on how many orders come in at one, one day. Um, I know they are working through the weekend to get orders caught up. All right, so we're using a 15 inch frame. Uh, Lisa, those signs will be there, not today for sure, hopefully this weekend. Let's grab our 21 inch mesh first. Y'all, I just like to throw mine on the ground and then take your cut piece of 21 inch, fold it over. All right, y'all, and then this part is super important. On the edges, you're gonna fold them in like you would if you were making a burrito, okay? Then scrunch it up. Y'all, whenever you do that, see how all of our mesh now starts to curl on the inside? That's what we want. The whole way through, we want these to curl in. All right, y'all, we're gonna start on the inner ring and just add ourselves some 10 inch poofs. All right, where is Coach Jordan? He's at home. Y'all, he doesn't live here. Diane, it was uh, in the 70s here today as well. I was like, oh, hello, Summer. Do I do custom doormats? Uh, Patsy, right now, we're not doing custom, uh, but we will. See how it's all staying tucked in nice and neat? That's what we want.
Yeah, Tammy, if you don't fold over, uh, to me, your poofs are gonna look a little thin and they're gonna be like really big. You got four and a half feet of snow, girl. My new printer can print you for sale sign. You saw that Jordan said he lived there? No, Jordan does not live with me. Uh, no, Rochelle, Rue does not come uh, to this warehouse. Angela, I'm not 100% sure if this one is in stock or not. Uh, I grabbed an open roll off of my shelf over there, and it does not have a skew on it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Kelly was humid. Gross. You're waiting to see if you have thunderstorms. Uh, this morning it looked like it was going to rain here. Jean, I did a whole bunch of uh, craft room doormats today. I haven't listed them yet, though. But I got them all designed. Honestly, on the doormats, I don't like to list them until we print one. Because you just never know what it's gonna, what's going to happen to it. All right, so we got our 10 inch poofs all the way around the top. Y'all, now I grabbed uh, two different blues and I'll tell you why. Right, so I wanted the dark blue, but the dark blue was kind of expensive. And this one was kind of not expensive. So I grabbed one of each, that way they can kind of balance each other out. Uh, this one, y'all, there's only four of these left in stock. So if you want one, uh, it was RE1382 in W and then this one is R Y eight three one three one nine all right so we're gonna cut uh ten at thirty inches Tanette sold another wreath today. Awesome, congratulations. One. All right, so that's two. Danny, it sounds like you might need a nap or a snack. I'm not sure. Or something more serious with that attitude. There's our four. All right, there's 10, so right? Two pieces at a time, five cuts. All right, 
So those were 30 inches, that's for the bottom. Now we need 20 inches. We're gonna need eight of these total. I don't have the patience or the snacks for this guy. Goodbye. Two. Jennifer tried the seven up biscuits and they were good. They were, they're so good. Now I want to make those tomorrow. I don't know, Parker cooked today, so he may be back on his diet. So maybe I shouldn't make seven of biscuits. Three. Um, Debbie, it's gonna happen, but it's just gonna take time. Like we have to create the course, do all the things. And uh, right now I have to focus on the workshop that we have going already. So maybe for April, we'll work on the, uh, the business one. All right, so we needed eight 20 inches, 10 30 inches. Y'all, I do have a snack though. Um, I found them the other night and now I'm probably gonna end up on 600 pound life because they're so good. Y'all, they are uh, Twix candy bars, but they're salted caramel. They're so good. If you see one somewhere, grab it and try it. All right, y'all, let's take our 30 inch ruffles and we're gonna add one 30 inch ruffle all the way around the bottom. Y'all, to do that, we're gonna take our 30, we're gonna curl, we're gonna curl, and then we're gonna ruffle. Okay, so look, you can clearly see you can clearly see through this mesh, right? This is a much less expensive mesh. But once we ruffle it up and we bundle them all together and we put these other mesh next to it, it'll be fine. Have I ever seen the Twix seasoning? Uh, I didn't see Twix, but I got the cinnamon toast crunch one from Sam's. All right, now we've got our more expensive 30 inch. Right, y'all, those curls on the end are just to help the fraying. Y'all, I need to sneeze. All right, this one has burlap in it. Also, little, I'm sure most of you just, you know, common sense know, but y'all, if you're working and you need to sneeze, you need to like do way up here in your shoulder because you don't want to sneeze all over someone's product. All right, see how whenever they start getting added in there, you can see the different shades of blue, but you can't still see through it anymore. Cadbury mini eggs, I can't, I can't do it. Mm-mm. 
Y'all, this is a 20 inch, not a 30. Wrong mesh. Yeah, Beth, don't make your curls too tight. Remember, burrito, not a taquito. You always hold your nose when you sneeze? Uh, I would not do that because it's gonna get all over your hands and you're gonna be making someone else's project. So just sneeze into your sleeve. Do I like drinking coffee? I don't drink coffee. What about peeps? I'm, I don't eat those either. It's the sugar crystals for me. I don't like, I like marshmallow. I don't like the, the crystals on the outside. That's why I don't like a uh, king cake, really. If the king cake has the sugar crystals. Uh, Patty, we don't have a workshop next weekend. We have one March 24th, 25th, 26th. And uh, the replay box is not going to go to Facebook. But you should have gotten an email as well with all the instructions if you need additional help. All right, so we're doing uh, 30 inch ruffles. Y'all, um, I'm gonna decorate this tree eventually. I don't know when, but I have all the stuff picked out for it. Salted Caramel Milky Way Bar? Dumb question tonight? Kim, there's no dumb question, but there are bad attitudes. If you're not aware, we go live on our public page to hang out with our friends, all 400,000 of them. If you're looking for specific training videos, you should go to learnfromdamon.com and join us in the Creative Coaching Group. Is it too late to sign up? Sherry, it's not. So uh, we usually don't turn off signups until ever, really. What was the mesh sizes? So we did 10 inch poofs with the 21 inch mesh. Then we did 30 inch cuts for the bottom and 20 inch cuts for the top. Y'all, I feel like that ruffle was short. Maybe not. Pecan logs are your favorite? Ooh, I don't eat that. I don't eat pecans. Lori, I thought Jordan was gonna decorate the tree too, but obviously, this is what I got. So.
Y'all, I either missed a twist tie or, they're mi or they missed a twist tie because we did even cuts and we don't have even... There's only nine. Y'all, they saved us a 30 inch ruffle. Y'all, that's one of the reasons why I uh, really liked to tell y'all not to write down the instructions, but to pay attention to the method, because depending on what size frame you make, where you get your frame, your specific frame, it may not be the same, right? So if you go get a 12 inch frame, you're not gonna cut 18 ruffles. All right, y'all, maybe there's an extra one at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, just eight. All right, so now we're gonna take our 20 inch pieces and we just need enough curl on each end Enough curl on each end to hide those cut pieces and ruffle, right? You went snag, do some scissors? I don't blame you. Awesome, Lori. Y'all, I found the coolest thing. I found a sticker whiteboard. Hey Mona, uh, just make sure you follow the instructions in the coaching group that tells you how to get that resolved. So you'll contact the customer service desk and they will help you out. Um, there's going to be, as explained in that post, there's going to be one or two things wrong with your stuff. Uh, one, you have an incorrect tag, so something that automatically happens failed. Or number two, you're not logged into the right account. But uh, Sandy or Jennifer or possibly Todd will be able to help you out with that. Why do you only do 20 inch cuts on the inner ring? Because that's what our formula calls for. Someone's dog is not happy outside. The wire cutters are definitely in the shop. I just saw them. They're MT10 or 20, MT. I believe there's a section on the website called uh, tools. You should be able to find them there. Awesome, Shauna. No, they're definitely not sold out. There's like 
500 pairs of the wire cutters. I looked at them earlier. What's up, Megan Pugate? All right. So we've got our blue and yellow on there. MT1070, thank you, LaDonna. All right. Y'all, I wanted something that had sunflowers and I only had one that was, uh, I only had one that was already printed and I was not going to the other warehouse. So used to, I could just walk to the back of the warehouse, print one, press it before I went live. Now we don't have a print or press over here. Maybe I should bring a press and one of the small printers over here. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So I just grabbed the one that was on the shelf. Uh, this probably belongs to someone and they're gonna have to reprint it. And they're gonna be mad because they're gonna say that the girls forgot to print one. And in reality, I just stole it. Y'all, this one is uh, D-E-C-L-E 738, uh, 10 inch. Twelve inch would be seven three eight A. Would you consider placing a video above the wreath while making? It's easier to see your technique, Mary. I do that every Tuesday in the coaching group. So you're welcome to go to learnfromdamon.com and uh, sign up for creative coaching to get that overhead camera view if you would like it. All right, we're gonna take our super glue and add a dab to all four corners. Y'all, so these are uh, mounting squares. We should have them at decoexchange.com. Hey, Regina. All right, after we glue them in, we're going to add some hot glue around it. Y'all, now someone's playing some music louder than the dog. You can just hear the bass though. That's not annoying at all. All right, so we got those glued. Christina, the square is still on the table. It's right here. Still holding on strong.
Welcome, Karen. It's your first time. Y'all, is anyone else uh, here for your first time? All right. So on a deco mesh wreath, um, I do not recommend that you do this, right? Don't put it in there and fold it in half. That's going to make the pipe cleaner too short. We're just going to put about an inch through and you're going to tie that off. Mindy's new. Awesome. Tina's new. Hey, Michelle. Stacy, you can use mounting squares on any sign as long as the sign isn't too heavy. Patricia's new. Okay. We know who's new, but who thinks they've been here the longest? Tell us in the comments how long you've been watching. Let's see. And listen, there's 1,100 of y'all watching, and half of y'all ain't talking to us. So y'all can say hi. Yeah, I just called y'all out. All right, so we got our four squares. Y'all, this is a 12 inch sun, so it's a little bit bigger than normal. That's okay. Dallas, Texas. Patricia has been watching for a year. I know that some of the people that are watching right now have been watching for almost uh, six years. I recognize your names. Is it six years? Yeah, six years. Because I did my first live in 2017. All right, so all we're doing is running that pipe cleaner down through the mesh and wrapping it around the frame. So we're gonna do the bottom first, then move up to the top. Jennifer, is it an indoor craft show, outdoor craft show? Is it, we need more details. Maybe uh, I'll have some of my old craft show tips that I can help you out. Almost a year. Y'all, I say 2017, but honestly, it may have been 2016 when I started doing lives. I'll have to go back and look. You found Tammy as your first craft on Facebook. Jill, don't tell Tammy that. She's going to get a big head. She's like, see, they knew me first. I'm just kidding. All right. Now, the only really important thing about attaching your sign is that you want to attach these three first. And then we're gonna take that other pipe cleaner on this side and we're gonna attach it somewhere over here. Jen, you've been watching for three years and you're just now telling me that your son-in-law works at Steamobiles? What the heck? Holly's going to be a Nana for the first time. 
Holly, you're about to be out of ribbon money, girl. Because grandkids are going to be getting all your cash. All right. Veronica learned about us when we did a webinar from Michael's. That was so fun. And now my face is in Michael's. How crazy is that? All right, so we got that added. Okay, next we need a bow. Y'all, we're gonna, of course, use some sunflower ribbon. Becky. It's a Becky Nowak. Becky's definitely been around for a long time. All right, so I did wanna bring in some of the browns from this photo, even though I don't have it anywhere else. And it was just an excuse to use my favorite ribbon again. Y'all, a lot of the ribbon that I picked out, uh, I already have open. So I'm not gonna grab a new one yet. Look, I picked out this one I picked out this one. I already had it open. Um, I also added this really dark blue velvet mix because it's just pretty. Jen, I like to get the crawfish and the fried crabs. Y'all, look how pretty this is. It's a dark blue velvet. Faye, you're gonna go to uh, Michael's and let Charles to check it out. Faye, my little cousin, Liz, works there. Ask for her and tell her you watch me on Facebook. She thinks it's so crazy when people tell her. Y'all, somehow I've got two of the exact same yellow open right here. Tell me you're a ribbon hoarder. You sold out at market days, awesome. Okay. That's enough ribbon. Let's make a bow. Don't run away, little ribbon. Katrina's been watching forever. Where can you get our scissors? Uh, DecoExchange.com. Y'all, we're going to go for that blue that I didn't... Grab. It's over there on the floor. Celeste, I saw uh, y'all's photo of that etouffee, and it looked pretty good. Anita sold 10 wreaths this week. Amazing. And Marie, I have, I think I got it fixed where it's not blocking comments. All right, so we're going to use our easy bow maker, also at decoexchange.com, and we're going to ruffle it just a little, give it a good twist. All right, we're gonna measure out about seven inches. The real knot, you know.
Angela, it'll uh, email you a receipt. Just check your email. If not, you can contact customer service. What's up, Case Spear? All right. Okay, how was your uh, ski trip? Not sure what I'm doing. I've it has been a month on Etsy and no sales. Uh, I would review your SEO. I would review your pictures, your titles, your tags. If you're in the business coaching group, you should review the Cha-Ching Blueprint. Judy, we put our bow maker on pause just because we didn't want to place a, you know, a million dollar order with China and then it'd be lost at sea for a year. So we got our old trusty one. Elaine, what you have to do is you have to get your affiliate link and then you tell people to join through your affiliate. That way you earn money. Let's put this brown one in next. I'm pretty sure I have one of these open, but it's okay. I won't be mad at having another one. Do I decorate with wreaths in my home? I actually decorate with other people's wreaths in my home. I've got some from Jordan, some from Amy. I got one from Megan. Amory sold nine wreaths this week. Awesome. Yeah, we've uh, we sold quite a few on Etsy this over the week. Yeah, I've been doing this for a little while, for sure. Also, uh, I do, you know, the same couple of techniques when I'm live. That way I can uh, also talk and not have to do 100% paying attention to the project. Easter wreaths are flying out the door. Uh, so mine was actually sunflower wreaths, which makes sense now that I think about it. At first I was like, why is a sunflower wreath selling this week? But now I know. <laughs> now that I thought about it for a half a second. What did I do with all the stuff that my friends made? It's literally all on my table right here. All right, let's get our center in here. Uh, the rue attachment that Derek made is amazing and I still need to hang that wreath up. I 
thanks for the shout out, Anita. Tiffany sold five Easter wreaths today. Y'all are killing it. Jeannie sold five this past week. You need a sunflower ribbon? I know that there was still some in stock whenever I took mine out. Tammy Hodges. Hodgenator, listen. Someone was just over here, two people actually, and they said they only watch me because they found me through you first. Can you believe that BS? I'm just kidding. All right. Y'all, that blue sunflower ribbon was RGC 171203. All right, we're going to grab our pipe cleaner, fold it in half. We're going to pull our bow up, slide our pipe cleaner around it. Get a nice, tight squeeze. Give it a good twist. Y'all, let me tell y'all, Tammy, Tammy done chased someone off her porch this morning. You got discouraged when you only sold one out of seven. I will tell you only listing seven is not really enough to uh, do anything for the algorithms. Let's get our wreath back out. We're going to add our bow right down here. All right. Y'all, I'm gonna use uh, the blue and this one for my ribbon tails. Probably gonna have to open up the next roll. What were they trying to steal? Her man. 
Just kidding. It was some random person trying to sell internet on the porch. All right, y'all, we're gonna use our ribbon tail board from Hot Mesh Mom. We're gonna use the 12 inch side to do our tails. Um, we are gonna need nine sets of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Y'all, we don't need nine. Remember, we were, we're missing one of those tails around the bottom. So we only have 17 total. You have 14 in your shop. Is it 14 of the same theme? Because that's going to make a difference. So think about it. If you only have... Two East, so right now people are shopping for Easter, St. Patrick's Day. They're starting to buy everyday wreaths, Mother's Day gifts, summer stuff. So if you're 14 wreaths, um, if you only have two that qualify for all those things, and there's 5,000 other ones, you're competing with 5,000 other products, right? So you have to have more products in your shop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the item number for the scissors? If you just go on deckoexchange.com and type in scissors, they pop up. Let's get our next. Anne Marie, which ribbon? One, two, three. Okay. Y'all, I am going to use another roll because this one is too short. Uh, I'm going to save this one. So the tree. I'm going to save that one for the tree. Am I going to give you a sneak peek at the mats? Um, they're all listed already. Yeah, that poor dog. It's not always outside. But when they leave it outside, they leave it out for the day. Uh, today I did signs, but I showed all those off as well.
And you're just a crafter that just enjoys watching. That's okay, too. That's why we do our best to serve different people where they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, it is R G E one one seven six zero one, and the reason I asked which ribbon was because there's a delay from what you see and what I'm doing. So by the time I see your question, I'm already like doing something different. Am I going to make mats that are dog breed specific? Uh, probably. All right, let's get our wreath back out. Wendy, just type in scissors. take our two and a half inch tail our one and a half inch tail we're gonna layer them right on top of each other gonna fold them in half Dorinda just signed up for the March workshop awesome hope all of you guys signed up y'all we're gonna take these and those same twist ties that we added our mesh to we're gonna add them right in there all the way around. Tie it off. Spread them out. So what I really wanna do with the, uh, the new machine is like partner with a cat rescue and a dog rescue and then for every cat mat that sells and every dog mat that sells donate a portion of the proceeds to the rescues but um i'm really picky when it comes to working with rescues and there are certain things that uh, I require to see from the rescue to make sure they are legit. All right, you can see how that shows up right in our wreath. Susan, uh, we teach that in the business and creative coaching group. I thought about working with the greater good. Uh, we actually have our own nonprofit. So we don't have to work with a large nonprofit like the greater good. So we own uh, the Deco Exchange Foundation, which is a 501c nonprofit organization. Uh, do you see the raised wreath forms? Uh, this is a raised wreath form.
Do we sell them? We do. Uh, how can you tell on site which wreath forms are raised? They're all raised. That dog is still out there getting it. How big a box do I need to ship this wreath? This is a typical wreath that we make every time we're live together almost. So it'll fit right inside of a 24 by 24 by 8. Oh, you're welcome, Jan. Y'all, if you're not on my text list, you should be because I send birthday texts to people. Sandra, Sandra, listen, Rue, uh, he's a Velcro dog. He needs to be right next to you all the time. Uh, we buy our boxes from Uline because we order by the pallet. Uh, if you take the shipping training, we give you a whole list of resources for shipping. Uh, can you explain why one might choose a flat wreath frame versus raised? Uh, personal choice, personal preference. Just depends on how you want your wreath to look. Uh, today we had a, uh, I interviewed someone for the office, so I locked him in my office so he wouldn't be all in her lap. Y'all, he was not excited about that. I think he's got abandonment issues. All right. Kimberly joined the workshop and got her video email. Kim, isn't that cool? Y'all, if you don't know, um, so now whenever you sign up for a workshop or the coaching groups or we ship you a package, I have a system that tells me, let me look, I have a system that sends me a notification that we have a new student or we have a new shipment going out. So like Sandra, Sandra and Laura both joined Creative Coaching in the last five hours. And it allows me to send them a personal message. Like... Let me do one real quick so you guys can see. It's kind of fun. And it's like actually me doing it in real time, which makes it even better. That's you guys back there. Hey, I saw you join the You're Invited workshop. So excited. Uh, make sure you check your email. It's in the message down below. By the way, we're live. There's 878 people telling you hi. Tell her hi. 
uh, just check the email we sent. It has all the registration information and what to do next. All right, see you in the group. So that message was going out to Jennifer. So it's just like a fun little extra thing that I can do to uh, connect with y'all. So inside the coaching group, um, I'm going to set up different little milestones that whenever people do certain things in the training, it's going to let me know. And I'll be able to send you guys a video message saying, hey, I just saw you completed XYZ training. Congratulations. I can tell you, uh, <laughs> it's fun. But like, you know, 700 people joined the, the workshop. So that was a lot of videos. I was making videos this morning, was it this morning or yesterday morning? I don't even remember in the line at McDonald's, like, waiting in line. I was like, hey. There's a lot. So once the, uh, once the coaches come for the challenge, I'll show them how to use the app so that they can help uh, invite or welcome people in the coaching groups. What shipping day are we on? Wanda, I wish I knew. Is business coaching live? So business coaching is uh, a pre-recorded membership, basically. Uh, but we do offer live support twice a day, Monday through Friday. One of the coaches is live for an hour. So Tammy's live Monday through Friday for an hour. And one of the other coaches are also live Monday through Friday for an hour uh, for basically office hours. So all of the official training is recorded and in the portal for you to watch. And then office hours are meant for you to be able to go do the training, write down whatever you have a problem with or you have a question with, and then come back to office hours and ask your question. Did I just put up that tree? No, that tree's been up since around October or November. You got your replacement box? Yeah, I also had the team send a, uh, an email about those boxes, I believe. Any thoughts on you guys opening a walk-in supply shop? We won't be doing that. The, uh, the debt to income ratio on opening up a storefront is not uh, worth it, for sure. So we, uh, we have, I was friends with the, one of the retail managers at a local craft supply store, 
and they told us that on average they were doing anywhere between two hundred to five hundred dollars a day in sales. Once you uh, take out the price of material, the overhead staff, the uh, additional insurances, all that kind of stuff, a look that's not. It's not. I don't like the idea of having to, to pay someone to come get my supplies, unfortunately. Uh, we will hopefully one day, though, get to do the warehouse sales again. So those are our every... We, we used to do them twice a year, where we would open up for one Saturday for local people to come shop. Wouldn't it be easier to put the tails on before you put the sign in though? Uh, I mean, I'm not having a hard time. All right. Y'all, let's dovetail our bow ribbons. Y'all, when we did our live warehouse sale, we had people that drove in from Arkansas, Florida, North Carolina, Texas. It was crazy. All right, so we're just going to start dovetailing all these ribbons. Uh, you saw a post that we shouldn't allow dogs in the craft room because people are allergic to pet hair. So uh, there's a difference between letting your pet in your home and letting your pet, you know, lay in your product that you're trying to sell. Tiffany, I got caught up on The Walking Dead last night and I am just really bored. Hope it gets better. Drive from Chicago, Candace, y'all are wild. What I would like to be able to do is have all my stuff cleaned up here so we could do like uh, workshops along with the live sale. But I do thoroughly believe though that uh, if you're gonna have your pets with your craft supplies, uh, you need to put that in your Etsy listing that um, it was made in a animal blah, blah, blah home. So like, for example, my sister is really allergic to cats, right? So cat dander basically will make her throat close up. So she needs to know if she's buying a product from a cat home. All right, so this is where we are so far. Y'all, now I wanna go in with uh, 
some actual florals. All right, first things first, we wanna fluff this out. Y'all, this one is sold out. I just grabbed it. Uh, it was a last minute ad. Whenever I was grabbing some yellow filler off the shelf in here. Yeah, and if you smoke in your home or your business, you should definitely list that. Um, you know, I purchased, uh, I purchased a, I think it was a shirt from Etsy. It was something from, it was some kind of fabric, something from Etsy, and it came in smelling like an ashtray, y'all. What the heck? All right, now this stem is a lot, it's extra. So I'm gonna work it underneath my bow and I'm gonna try to get it all the way down to the frame. And I'm gonna wire it somewhere. All right, there we go. Tonight's phrase is making you think of Ukraine. It should. I think it's funny. So let me just, let me just say, someone, uh, whenever I posted that photo of me uh, with the yellow and blue flowers, and I just left it at that. Um, someone sent me a message that uh, I need to leave religion, politics, and all those things out of what I do. And y'all, I think that's old bad advice. Sandra, I'm glad that you have an opinion on my product. Thank you. So, you know, uh, that rule of thumb uh, to keep politics and religion, all those things out of your business, no longer applies. Uh, in today's world, you have a voice you have a platform and you can make a difference. So you should voice it. Now you should voice it respectfully. All right. So, whenever we're looking at this stem, see how the stem is kind of heavy and leaning forward? We're gonna take it and we're gonna take a pipe cleaner and we're gonna find the base of that stem. Right, we're gonna find the base of that stem and we're gonna attach it with a pipe cleaner a little bit higher 
into the frame. All right, so look, now when I hold it up, those flowers don't lean forward. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take the same flower bush and go out this way with it. Jet, and you should be able to talk about those things if you want to. Um, Y'all, I'll be completely honest. I, I don't know a lot about children or education or all those things. But are you guys on education TikTok where all these teachers are talking about the crazy bills and laws that states are passing? I have so many thoughts about them and uh, quite a few TikToks that I'll be releasing about that. Only I knew where my zip tie was. You've heard some of the education mess. So evidently the state of Florida is trying to pass or has passed a bill that says uh, basically if you are a teacher and you find out that your student is gay, you have to alert their parents. So basically you have to out them. That is such a dangerous game to play y'all. What the heck? Yeah, Andy, that law right there. Uh, I 
think it was Iowa, Iowa who just passed a law that you're not allowed to ask students if they're okay, if they're hungry, if they need help at home. Like, what the heck? Why is it any of their business? I will tell you that uh, a lot of teachers also play counselors and friends and all those things. And I think it's super important for them to be able to do that. All right, let's look at what we've got so far. Y'all, I want to move some of these flowers up this way a little bit. All right. Where is the blue flower? It's down here. All right. Y'all, so this one is like a uh, succulent version of 60919. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. Was it Indiana and not Iowa? Yeah. I know it was one of the I states. All right. Y'all look just like the 60919. It's got the three clusters of florals. So this is not 60919, this is uh, 62692. What are my thoughts on the gas prices? Um, my niece is not going to school with her social security number on her arm. Uh, my friends are not hiding out in a basement. Um, I'll, pay, I'll pay the gas prices for now. All right, y'all wanna get a little bit of this blue a little bit higher up. Y'all, so I'm kind of using this blue to outline the yellow. Right? Looks like comments are still being blocked. No? Celeste, you do need florals. I can tell.
All right. Let's do the same thing with that blue going out this way. Y'all, the sunflowers are actually from uh, fall two years ago, I believe. Debbie's first time watching. Welcome. Glad to have you. Gonna make you place an order? Beth, I would never make you place an order. What are you talking about? What would I sell this free for? Probably in the 125 to 140 range. thick enough, y'all. Y'all. It's huge. I like it. Alright, y'all want to see the other thing that I bought that's kind of cool? Have you guys ever seen uh, a flexible whiteboard? If you guys have been around for a while, you know, you know, uh, I like to take out a whiteboard every once in a while, and the whiteboards always get ruined in here. Like, this one is all wobbly now. So, I found on Amazon a post-it note whiteboard. Let's check it out. Y'all, there's stuff inside of it. Hang on. A bottle. Uh, if you sign up for the workshop, can you watch it on replay? Absolutely. Uh, if you go to the website, we have all that information listed out, including the times and all the stuff. So y'all, this is called the Flex Right Surface, and it's basically a giant sticker whiteboard. What the heck? So 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna attach it. I don't like the green side. I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't like the green side. It clashes with my colors. So I think I'm gonna take the whiteboard and attach it to the back side of my cutting mat. That way, whenever I want to use it, it'll just be available. Right? So I don't even know how big it is. Uh, three foot by four foot, if I had to guess. Right? Y'all, it's just a giant sticker. So I'll be able to just take it and attach it directly to my mat here. Then I'll be able to cut it in half and I'll have the other half um, whenever I need to use it later. So I'm definitely gonna wait I have some help with this thing. Special pins only. Uh, it just said whiteboard. No, I didn't even cut all the way through. What the heck? So now I'll have uh, another one, same size. It's not magnetic, it's a sticker. So that way, whenever I throw out my mat, I'll have a new one. You will be covering all your markings on the green board. Judy, we just talked about that. I said I don't use the green side, I only use the gray side. So we'll have this on one side. All right, let's make sure. Use dry erase markers. Clean with just water. All right. Oh, I just meant to, when I have help to stick it on here, because listen, that's going to be a whole situation. Uh, I'm going to get someone on the team that has more patience than I do to stick it on there. All right, y'all, that's it for tonight. I uh, hope you guys had fun, hung out for a little bit. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for the workshop, you can go to learnfromdamon.com and scroll down to you see you're invited and sign up there. And you can check out all the new supplies that we just listed at DecoExchange.com. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.